Hey guys, this is Josh here with Trillium Wild Edibles, and I want to welcome you all to my 100 subscriber special. I'm extremely happy about this, and I just recently reached my first 100 subscribers on YouTube. This is a really big first goal for any YouTuber, and what I thought would be interesting to do would be to go back through the past years of videos, go through some of the worst moments, and some of the best moments. So I hope you guys find this interesting, and I hope you find it entertaining. So without further ado, let's get started. Hey guys. Now this is a uh, this is one of the very first videos that I filmed. The video quality is horrible. It's in standard definition. Uh, the reason for that was I just took my camcorder out of the box, flipped it open, and started filming. I didn't mess with any of the video settings or anything like that. So it looks pretty bad. Um, the information is there for the most part. My presentation is not so good. Uh, but yeah, my presentation is not so good. I was just really just starting to learn how to talk on camera. That was, that was very difficult. Um, most people who do this kind of stuff are usually a little introverted. Whenever I just started filming this, I was still at the time spending about 40 hours a week in the woods by myself. So talking on camera and getting used to that and just, you know, doing anything like that in general is really difficult for me. Yeah, this was actually the first video that I filmed, believe it or not. Uh, it was filmed on the same video settings that the cattail video was. The reason it looks a lot more crisp, you know, like the edges of the picture look a lot more crisp, is because the clouds were out. This was a really cloudy day, so those clouds diffused the sunlight, which made a huge difference that, and I was in the forest, which the leaves helped diffuse sunlight really well, too. My presentation in this one was, again, not so good at times. I feel the presentation was better in this one than the cattail, mainly because I wasn't up for 24, 40-some hours whenever I was filming this one. I was fresh, I was awake, and I was vibrant and I had energy, I just wasn't so good at talking on camera. I really hadn't discovered my uh, my personality on camera, my style on camera. I don't know if that makes any sense. You know, it's not like, you know, we're trying to be something we're not, but finding a mode of presentation that fits well with camera, being on camera, and that fits well with being yourself is really kind of difficult for some people to find on camera, and it took me it took me a few videos to really get that down, and I'm sure if some of you guys go back through my older videos, you'll probably see that a good bit. Yeah, it was really interesting to uh, shoot this video all in one take, uh, while being on the ground harvesting a plant with my hand. You know, it it was it was a little difficult. Um, keeping everything in focus with a viewfinder on my little flip screen LCD was really difficult for me. Uh, that's one of the reason it gets so shaky and there were a lot of pauses and things like that because like I couldn't really tell what I was looking at on the viewfinder and how well it was in focus or anything like of that sort. So it was a little tricky. That actually gets even worse whenever you're out in the sunlight. Whenever you're in the bright sunlight, it gets really hard to see that LCD screen. And man, I tell you what, you just don't even know what you're looking at half the time. <laughs> this video makes me cringe when I look at it. The lighting is horrible, hey that is background, Josh. gray, rabbit fur. I don't know why I chose to do it that way. I, I, I didn't even know about changing light bulbs, man. I, I should have just gone outside. Granted, it was rainy, but I mean, but this video would have been so much better as far as video quality if I filmed it on my front porch. Said, now, granted, it was really rainy that day, and it was really cloudy, and like I said, I had no idea about lighting. I didn't have those awesome bright white CFLs, which I don't know if any of you guys know this. Those are based, you know, any white lighting is a YouTuber secret for indoor lighting. And this is all yellow lighting. This video is filmed on the floor of my bedroom, underneath my little ceiling fan as the only light source. I set down the gray rabbit fur because... I didn't want people to see the brown carpet, and I thought gray would be better. <laughs> yeah, horrible logic. Horrible logic. Um, the information's there, I feel. Uh, the video and audio quality, me, not so good. Not so good. Uh, like I said, the video quality is cringeworthy. <laughs> In my opinion, that is easily one of my worst videos. <laughs> This video was extremely important for the channel. One of the main reasons was just because it was one of the first videos that I filmed that actually started taking off really well. I don't know whether it was the name, you know, like just because of the plant, Lobelia is rather popular. I don't know whether it was just because I've been on YouTube for a few months and people really were starting to take a little more of an interest. I don't, I don't really know. Um, I was really surprised because I was really nervous about uploading this video. Main reason for that was because it was filmed on a park bench. 
Um, unfortunately, I had a really hard time getting my camera to focus, and I even mentioned that in the beginning of the video, and in my deleted scenes video that I uploaded in October of 2015, I showed some of the uh, camera troubles that I had had while filming this plant. Uh, a lot of times when you're filming a lot of plants, in some of my videos you'll notice that I have my hand behind the plant, and that's so that the camera will actually focus, because there's so much detail with all of this fine, fibrous plant material, and thin plant stems, and grass, and seeds, and leaves, and different angles, and different colors, that it's really hard for a camera, a camcorder sensor, to pick up something that you're trying to focus it on and it actually focus well and lobelia was one of those plants because as you can see it's very thin it's very small it's also very inconspicuous so you, i mean you really don't even know it's there uh, the video quality is much better uh, i had adjusted the video settings on my camcorder up a slight bit because i noticed that like i said my other videos weren't getting weren't getting viewed very fast they weren't getting viewed very long. Of course, I thought, well, I'm filming, I, I'm doing good, I, I'm doing all right, I'm doing the best I can. But it really turned out to be, you know, once I started being able to be honest with myself and be able to, being able to criticize what it is I'm doing positively and try to change my content for the better and try to constantly improve, th this video was really one of the first stepping stones that really allowed me to start doing that. And I think what allowed that to happen for me was, well, filming it on a park bench, uploading it, and then seeing that the video actually went rather well. I was like, okay, so maybe if I just think about this a little more, put a little more effort into transitions, Put a little more effort and color into the video, make the video look a little better, try to take advantage of camera angles a little bit. Um, I started thinking about all that stuff a little bit more for this video, so that's why I think this video is extremely important for the channel. For this book review, I actually started thinking a lot more about lighting. This video was filmed on my kitchen table, as you can probably tell. Uh, I had all of the curtains open, I had all of the lights in the house on. I still didn't know about using white CFLs or white LEDs. I had no clue about any of that. Uh, you can see several uh, video glitches uh, because of Windows Movie Maker. It, like I said, it, it sucked. It really sucked for me. I had a lot of problems with it. Some people, it works really well. For me, it didn't work so well. However, it worked good enough for the beginning of my channel, I guess. In this video, I played with the zoom quite a bit. Setting up the camera and the kitchen table and being behind the camera and the tripod and holding my, holding my arms all the way out, that was, that was really difficult. It was really hard on the back, and over time I learned how to do that without you know, being in this hunchback kind of position. So that, that was interesting, and that was kind of some of the hassle that I went through in that video. This was another really important video for the channel, and I think it's one of my best videos as far as information and as far as effort that I put into it. And the reason I say that is because what I thought about doing for this video was making something, making a video on Lobelia tincture that anybody at any level of foraging or medicinal plant making or tincture making could watch this video and learn something. And I try to approach that aspect with all my preparation videos. That's one of the reasons they're so long, is just because that I want to have so much information in there that anybody at any level should be able to watch it and learn a little bit of something. Um, the lighting is a lot better. I actually started using uh, white CFLs for this one. I actually had a little light that I had made. I was using uh, all of my windows and curtains open, you know, taking advantage of all the lights on in the house as much as possible. Most of the lights were still yellow, and that's why the lighting is really grainy. This video was actually, believe it or not, filmed in 1080p, but there's so much yellow lighting here because of all my other lights. I really just, this one, I kind of winged it. There's a lot of pauses. I kind of used transitions a little bit. I was kind of in flux back and forth on whether or not, you know, this YouTube channel was going to be well, one that people were going to be interested in. I didn't really know. And a lot of that was really my way of presentation. Really wasn't that good at the time on camera. I just, I had such a hard time getting used to being on camera and treating the camera like it was a friend or treating it like it was someone that I knew or, you know, acting like I'm actually talking to people instead of like, you know, this piece of hunk of plastic in my hands. Which, that was, that was very very difficult to get used to. 
towards the latter sections of this video, the air conditioner kicks on, and that's something that I didn't think about for the first several indoor videos. You know, the, uh, the refrigerator kicking on, the air conditioner or the heater kicking on, things like that really, really ruin the audio of your videos. And if you don't have good audio in the videos, I've found that, like, in the Lobelia Tincture video, there's a large click out. You know, a lot of people are clicking out of the video when that air conditioner kicks on later in the video. And so later in my more recent indoor videos, you know, I'm unplugging my fridge, I'm turning off my heater, my air conditioner, whatever the case may be. And that ensures that I have really good audio, or as best as I can actually get. It's not really good, I don't know. Um, but it ensures that I can get the best kind of audio that I can get. This video, I think, turned out really, really good. This is one of my favorite videos. One of the reasons for that is, A, because I really like Spice Bush. Another reason for that is, it was another one of those videos that started gaining traction really well, and after I uploaded this video, my channel really started to gain a little bit more traction. And again, I don't know whether it was because Spice Bush is kind of popular, or just because, I, again, I was around for another few more months, so people kind of realized that I wasn't just, you know, doing this just for schnitz and giggles, and you know, I wasn't just uploading videos every now once in a great blue moon. You know, I was actually trying to do this consistently, and trying to actually share legitimate information, and share what I know, and share what I love with all of you guys and I, I think that starts to show a little bit a little bit more in this video and the last two videos that I uploaded before this was making curly dock pancake and wood sorrel syrup and in those videos I started learning a lot more about how to actually present this information I started thinking a lot more about how to actually speak on camera without getting distracted by the piece of plastic. You know, that was a big issue for me, like I said earlier. And those two cooking videos helped me to get a little bit better at talking into the camera, talking with the camera, making, or essentially talking to you guys. And that shows a lot more in this video, I think, than it does in the two videos before it. Uh, there are still a few you know, video glitches as far as in the transitions or in the jump cuts. Again, it was it wasn't until January of 2016 until I'd got my new computer until I had had Adobe Premiere Elements that I actually started you know, using really good equipment for the most part. You know, there there were a lot of interesting things about filming this video. In this video, I actually had a really hard time getting the camera to focus again on the spice bush on the leaves that I was trying to get it to focus on, on the twigs I was trying to get it to focus on, and as you can see, all this dense foliage, and, you know, I mean, it's kind of late fall, this video was filmed in early September, and it was uploaded mid-September, um, you can see, you know, only, you know, like black-eyed Susans, and, you know, green-headed coneflowers, I believe, around back in there somewhere, you know, there's all kinds of stuff, and all kinds of plants and foliage, and it was just... It, it was kind of a mess, you know, I mean, I was surrounded by mosquitoes. This video was a little difficult, and I had a very hard time trying to see what was in the viewfinder as well, because the sun was, as you can kind of tell, like, almost beaming down directly on me. Hey guys, this is Josh. Even though this video was filmed so many months after I had started my channel, this is by far one of the worst, cringiest videos I've ever seen. I hate to use that terminology, but I, I watch this, I look at it, and I, my stomach churns because of the video quality. It is so horrendous. It was filmed in my garage. It was raining cats and dogs outside, man. It was storming really bad. And in my garage, all I have is yellow, horrible, horrible lighting. And as you can tell, it's so grainy, it, it's just awful. Awful is the only words I can use to describe this video. The uh, audience retention on it is so good, it's about a minute and 20 seconds. That is horrible audience retention. This is, in my opinion, one of my best videos. I know I'm whispering, and that is truly because I really was deer hunting. It kind of provides like a little ASMR aspect to the video, which I don't know if some people like that about it or not. I don't know. Um, however, I think, you know, I think the presentation was really good for the circumstances. You know, I'm literally sitting in my ground blind as I'm filming this video. I remember walking into the woods at 5.30 in the morning, you know, with my headlamp on, and I remember seeing this bright white shelf mushroom right in front of my ground blind, and I was like, yes, awesome, I brought my camera today, 
Sweet. Two different types of so I was really so excited about that, and I thought, followers. great, I can get another video done while I'm out this here deer hunting. I can kill, you know, two birds with one stone, so to speak. And this video turned out great, man. I mean, the video quality is awesome this is awesome the diffusion to from the clouds the just worked so well and you know there was a mix of clouds and you know there were still some leaves on the trees it was awesome now however doing those underside shots those underbelly shots of the oyster mushroom was one of the most difficult things i think i've ever done the reason for that is well getting underneath that i mean that log the underside of that mushroom was only maybe about a foot off of the ground so that was really difficult for me to get underneath there with the camera and look in the viewfinder at the same time and see what exactly is in focus, what isn't in focus, and how it looks and if, well, you could even see it. That was, that was rather rough. You know, I was literally laying on the ground. And in most of my videos, I'm either laying or I'm kneeling or I'm completely covered in bugs and weeds or I, I'm always on the ground in almost all of my videos. And this video is certainly no exception to that rule. This video was really interesting to do. I came up with the idea for this because, well, everybody knows that top 10 lists, top 12 lists, top whatever such and such number lists on YouTube are extremely popular. And that's something I was trying to kind of take advantage of a little bit. Not really in a bad way, but, you know, after I had done my channel update video, after I had got my new computer, this was one of the ways that I was getting used to Adobe Premiere Elements. I was getting used to my new computer. I was getting used to the new setup. I was getting reused to the microphone. I had bought back in 2011 or 2012, I think it was. Getting used to the transitions while having all these pictures and all of these ping images, that was that was difficult. I didn't really know how to do that. I wanted to make sure there was constant movement to try to make the video as interesting as possible. This video was put together in January and that's the main reason I used a bunch of pictures from a bunch of different sources, mainly just a you know, good Google search and then research research the pictures and the usage rights and things like that. And that's why you see like this long list of credits and links to all the pictures. That was a huge pain just to compile all of that. But then again, I had a lot of research to do as far as counting individual species of plants within different genuses and counting different genuses and going through and looking at each plant and going through the different list of synonyms. Like for example, if you go to the USDA plant database and you type in any given plant like dandelion, for example, you can find up to 300 different results. You know, if you type in, you know, Taraxacum, which there are other genuses of dandelion besides Taraxacum, you can find, again, several hundred results. And a lot of those are just how plant names have changed over time so there are a lot of historical synonyms or plant names that are synonymous with the same plant so I had to go through each one of these plants and I had to count all of these different numbers and count all of these different plants and look at them and make sure they were talking about the same plant or whether it was a different plant and that was a huge task that in itself took me a couple days just to go through and count through thousands and thousands and thousands of plant synonyms and different plant names and decipher what is what and try to get the most accurate numbers possible. I don't know if they're 100% accurate, most likely not because I'm a human and I make mistakes, but like I said, I spent a couple days just doing the counting to try to get this number of species and the number of genuses correct. So that was a huge task within itself. Hey guys, this is Josh here. In this video, I don't know where my channel would be without it. I really don't. This video has done so, so much for my channel. I think the main reason for that is vlog style videos are just incredibly popular right now. You know, they help to develop more of a bond. They help you to kind of see the person or feel or hear the person behind the camera instead of just a person, in my case, presenting information, which trying to add some personality to that is at times very difficult surprisingly enough. Um, in this video, I think I did a really good job at that. I didn't have any plan. None of my videos, I really have much of a plan. I just kind of wake up one day and like, all right, I'm going to go to the woods and I'm going to go do this and I'm going to forage this for myself. And I just kind of film whatever plant sticks out to me. 
or plants in this case, and in this video, I the reason I decided to do a vlog style video was because it's something I haven't done before. I realized that I have some longer form content on the channel, but it's all information, just kind of me the presenter, me the teacher kind of feel to it, and I really don't want my channel to be that way, because that's not really what I'm trying to do, is just like, be the, you know, be the plant expert, because I don't consider myself really an expert, I don't really know what the term expert would imply, some people consider themselves experts, Others consider themselves to have expertise or knowledge. I consider myself to have knowledge or, you know, expertise, if you will. You know, but just because you have expertise or knowledge doesn't necessarily make you an expert. What is an expert? You know, there's the saying, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Well, one man's expert is another man's fool. You know, so that's kind of how I look at it. And I don't know, that may be rather silly, but that's just a little bit of my personal philosophy. And this video was really important for the channel because I actually started learning a lot more about showing my own personality on the channel, which is something that I said in my channel update video in January that I was going to try to do more. And I was trying to find ways to work that in without it being unrelated to the subject a whole lot. And in this video, I think I, I think I did very, very well with that. And this video is kind of the goal I try to shoot for on all of my vlog style videos because it went so well and the watch time is great on this video. This video I actually debated for a long time whether I was going to do it or not. The reason for that was a lot of my other cooking videos or you know preparation of edible plant videos never really did so well. You know, they never really did so well as far as views or as far as watch time or average view duration, which are some of the things that I kind of think are important. You know, some people get on YouTube for you know more views or exposure or making money. I look at it as if I want people to actually learn something, if they're going to be learning something then they need to be watching most of the video. But I have to do my part in making that video entertaining enough for them to want to watch it. And that's why I like to try to focus on average view duration and you know watch time with the numbers of views because I think those things really speak the most about how good a video is on YouTube. You know, because whenever you put it out to the public, and it does its thing, you can really get a good feel. However, just because a video doesn't get views doesn't mean it's not so popular. And I really started thinking about that. I was like, all right, you know, some of my cooking videos have an all right amount of watch time. You know, they have it for the numbers of views they have. The average view duration is really good. So it's not really so much that people don't like them. I think my biggest problem was I didn't really quite understand where some of you guys are at. And the subject of foraging, you know, I, I'm starting to realize that there are a lot of you who aren't quite ready to be making stuff with plants yet that maybe that you don't even know how to identify, which that's something I thought about. I was like, you know, but there are other people who are a little more advanced who know what some of these plants look like or know how to look them up and know how to go out and you know, tell for themselves what it is they're looking at. And they just want to know some different recipes or maybe kind of hear something else from somebody else. Maybe they want to hear like a new way of preparation from somebody else that they didn't think about. These cooking videos and preparation videos are a lot of work. They are the most work out of anything that I do on this channel. You know, next to that, the first top 10 list that I did, that video I worked on for literally an entire week. That was a pain in the butt. You know, but that's one of the reasons you don't see a lot of cooking videos on this channel is because they take so much effort. They take so much time. You know, and I remember whenever I did the Spice Bush ice cream video, I told myself then, I was like, this is going to be the last video, the last cooking video that I do. Nobody seems to care about this. And I, you know, I spent 12 hours, I mean, it, ice cream, that ice cream took me 12 hours in itself to make. You know, going out to the woods to gather the spice bush, coming back home, preparing it. And I, again, I had filmed the video on harvesting and preparing the spice bush tea, which I then turned that syrup, that tea into syrup and then made that ice cream. So I had filmed, I had filmed so much just to do that video. And all of that spice bush identification and so on and so forth was just solely for me to do the spice bush ice cream. I thought maybe if I did a video about one, it could lead to the other. And I thought this kind of the same thing with garlic mustard, and I know garlic mustard is really popular. So I mean, I, w I went through so many things in my head with these cooking videos, and 
they're going to come and go over time. You know, there's going to be some every now and again. If I see more interest in them, or if I see people that are actually wanting them, you know, that are actually asking for them, I will certainly do more. I love doing these. I absolutely love them. This is one of my most popular videos as far as views and watch time. Uh, this is like my second or third most popular video as far as watch time is considered. And that's really not too surprising because of the subject matter. Morel hunting is just so incredibly popular. This video is another one that really helped my channel start gaining a lot more traction. After I uploaded this video, my channel's watch time just started skyrocketing. I was so excited for morel season last year because I knew it would give me a good, a really great chance to be able to grow my channel, and that's something I want to do. Is I want to grow this channel to become a kind of large channel, and that you know I want more people to become interested in this subject and to learn about this subject. So maybe we can all care a little bit more about the environment a little bit more, and we can all be healthier in the process. You know, but the 2016 morel season was really crappy for Indiana. Uh, we ended up having bursts of free Freezing temperatures throughout the night that just kind of frostbit most of the morels, uh, the sclerotia or the mycelium of the morels, which if you you know do a little bit of research on how morels grow, you you should come across that information. They weren't producing well this year. My guess is they were producing more mycelium. I'm not too sure. Overall, though, I was expecting to find more morels than this because I didn't really get. I only had enough morels this year for like a sandwich, and I didn't really want to film a video on that. I mean, I guess I could have, but I wanted to have a larger mess of morels to show several different recipes for using morels because I thought, man, morels are so popular and people want to know how to cook them and how to eat them and how to use them that I could, you know, I could have several different recipes because I use morels so many different ways, man, that I really wanted to be able to share those different ways with you guys. I didn't get the chance this year. This. Hopefully next year that's different and I can get more morels. But, you know, sometimes it just doesn't work that the way. There's the only so much ground one person can cover. Hey guys, yeah, the second of list videos that I've done on the channel, and surprisingly enough, this one is one of the best as far as numbers of views and watch time and average view duration. This one's doing great. This one is doing great. I wish the other one was doing a little bit better than what it is, but that's okay. It happens. Um, this one, surprisingly enough, like I said, it was filmed in one day. I literally like woke up, grabbed my video camera, ran outside because there was, you know, there's people weed eating and mowing. Like the whole neighborhood was using their lawn mower and weed eaters at this time. Someone across the streets getting their septic dug up. People are riding their quads. Some guy, you know, down the street was shooting his guns and stuff. I mean, there was so much noise. I didn't know how to do it. And I was like, well, looks like I'm going to have to narrate into my microphone for this one. So that's pretty much what I did. And like I said, all that was done within a day. I went out in my yard, grabbed the camera, shot little bits of the plants, ran back inside, and took the pieces that were looked good, and then typed up, basically typed up a dialogue that would be informative, be hopefully entertaining a little bit and that would fit the time slot of the videos, video sections I had edited. And in the future, I'd love to do more list videos like this one in this style because I think it worked really well. It was so, so much easier than doing all of those pictures, doing all the research it took on all those pictures for the licensing information, to see, you know, the credit information, to, you know, link all that stuff down in the video description and put it into the video credits in the very far back. It was just a lot of work to do that, and I really don't want to do that again. Um, so I'd love to do more list videos in this style where it's just, you know, me filming different sections of plants in the area because there's so many plants around me that, you know, I can film to get basically pictures or moving video, if you will, and I won't have to rely on just pictures and making them move and spending all this time in the editing program. These video, this style of list video is so much easier for me to make. So I'm going to try to do more of these in the future because this one was really popular and it still remains to be really popular. It's still getting a good amount of views. And this, uh, that curly dock, that stuff looks great. Um, part of them has like, you know, some ants trying to farm some aphids, which I will shoot a video on that, I think, here sometime soon. Um, the ant aphid farm 
And I'll link to the uh, video that SciShow did on that several months ago because they did a really awesome video explaining how ants farm, you know, funguses and aphids and stuff of that sort. Um, but that curly dock, I'm going to film a little bit more on that because that curly dock that you saw with that stick next to it, that stuff's growing up really well. It's starting to produce its seeds. So I'm going to be harvesting that for flour, and hopefully I'll be making a video on that as well later in the year whenever that time comes. Whew. Okay, so it's been, I've got like an hour of stuff, um, an hour or so of audio to go through, to edit down, bleh, to edit down, drinking my yerba mate tea here for energy and to quench my thirst, um, so I've got, like I said, I've got an hour of audio to edit down, but yeah, that, that's pretty much it, guys. Those are a lot of the moments from the channel, the good ones, the bad ones, some of the in-between ones, some of the things I've gone through behind the scenes, some of the things it took to make some of the videos, you know, some of how I felt about doing some of this, some of how I didn't feel, if you will. So, I don't know, I hope this was interesting for you guys, I hope it was entertaining. I thank you guys for watching this 100 subscriber special. I thank you guys for all of your subscriptions, all of your support, all of your comments, all of your likes, sharing my videos. You guys are awesome. I don't plan on stopping videos anytime soon. So with that being said, let's look forward to the next few years and let's keep on rolling on.